I'm in Hyper-V Manager and I've already got my Server 2 set up. I'd like to add in Server 1. So I'm going to right click on my Hyper-V Manager, choose Connect to Server, and type in the name of Server 1. And Server 1's now in the list after installing Hyper-V and restarting that server. What I'd like to do is I'd like to set it up so I can replicate any virtual machines from Server 2 to Server 1 to add in some disaster recovery capabilities. After highlighting the server, Server 2, I'm going to go into where it says Hyper-V Settings. And inside Hyper-V Settings, I'm going to choose to allow live migrations and that box is already checked. I'd also like to set up the replication configuration. So I'm going to select that. And now I have the option for port 80 for HTTP, or if I have a certificate, I can choose HTTPS. I haven't added in a certificate yet, so I'm just going to choose port 80. But port 443 allows for an encrypted stream if you have a certificate that's trusted by the server. If you're on an internal network where security is not as high of an issue, then you can just go ahead and choose port 80 instead. I'm in a closed network, so that works fine for me. I'm going to choose to allow replication from any authenticated server, or you could choose to allow from specific servers and then type in the server that you'd like to add in. Now, in my case, I don't mind from any server. I only have the one other server in my list, so I'm going to choose to apply that and then click OK. After clicking OK, we get a message that reminds us we need to make sure port 80 is open on the firewall. So what we can do is go into the firewall and just confirm that port 80 is open. Now I'm going to do the same thing for server 1. I'm going to highlight it, click Hyper-V Settings, go to Live Migrations, just make sure that's turned on, and it is. I want to make sure to use any available network for live migration. Go to Replication Configuration and set it up the exact same way. And click OK. Now I'm going to go ahead and right click on my virtual machine that I have running. And I'm going to choose Enable Replication. And a wizard will appear that will walk me through replicating it from Server 2 back to Server 1. So I'll click Next. I'm going to choose my replica server. I can type it in or just browse to it. It automatically chose Kerberos on port 80, which is exactly what I've set up. And it chose the VHDX file, which is the virtual machine file. You can choose the frequency that you'd like for replication. So if you have a very busy network, you might want to switch to 15 minutes, or you can just choose 5 minutes or 30 seconds if having the synchronization is very critical. Now we can choose whether or not to create a recovery point. This is a checkpoint for Hyper-V when it comes to replication. I can choose to create additional hourly recovery points if I'd like, and that will give me an additional capability of going back in time if I need to. Or I can just choose the default and click Next. I can choose to send over the copy to the other server now, or if I have multiple copies going, I may want to stagger those. I'm just going to choose Immediately and choose Finish. If there's any problem with firewall ports, it will let you know that information within the next couple of minutes, and then you may need to go into one or both firewalls and to make an adjustment to allow that traffic. And now we can see the status of sending the initial replica. Once the replication is complete, we can fail over to the other server when needed.